Hi YouTube, the YouTube family, the family of light, everyone who's watching this video. It is the 31st of August. Um, there is a full moon, but the moon is currently obscured by the clouds. But um, I've been sitting here a while and couple of things that I wanted to share with you guys is first off I'm extremely um, I'm extremely overwhelmed by the love that I'm feeling right now and I wish I could show you how brilliant the sky looks but um, I'm recording this on my phone and my phone can't capture the brilliance of the sky <laughs> I don't think anyone's phone can capture the brilliance of the sky but a um, couple of things I wanted to share with you guys is that all of us who are on a spiritual path, we, li we live dual lives. We have one life that is dedicated towards our spiritual journeys, that is connecting with our, the inner self, the higher consciousness, going towards unity consciousness and oneness of all things. And then you have the second journey, which is the human experience, or life as irresponsible human on the planet. Coming here to help people reach their highest potential, to spread um, wisdom and light so we can all evolve as a species on the planet and extend our compassion to all existing life. Sometimes, Trying to merge those two lives, the spiritual path and the human experience is difficult because you're constantly being bombarded by dualities on the planet and it's difficult to transcend those dualities overnight, you know, and sometimes you might encounter people who would really try to push you off of your path but sometimes that happens and what helps me a lot is um, trying to maintain inner and outer silence so what I do is I wake myself up at around 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock in the morning I put the timer on my phone for about a minute and at that point in the morning there is no sound outside so all you can hear is the the constant hum buzz of silence and what I do is that within that m minute I sit down and I exist in the moment for that one minute by where I exist so that the outer silence matches the inner silence and the only time the mind comes in in this practice is when you're wondering if the minute is over but otherwise when I'm in this when I'm doing this practice of inner and out, inner and outer silence being matched I usually reside, reside within my heart and breathe through my heart so my heart sort of expands and at that moment the dualities of the world stop affecting me and over time it affects me lesser and lesser. A lot of us came on this planet and we saw, th we saw the ways in which things were being done here and we felt so much dissonance and pain and we've, we've lived lives um, wherein we've been able to see things in ways that other people cannot and the fact that we could see and perceive life and the universe in ways that other people cannot made us feel really lonely and alone and what I learned through 
my spiritual journey is that we're never truly alone the entire universe and more specifically our planet our mother earth is teeming with life and communication is not always human to human communication or human to animal communication or communication through words communication is also communication through silence and communication to all life which essentially is consciousness and everything in the universe is consciousness so at any given moment you are surrounded by life even if it's not human life you're surrounded by life which is a unique expression of consciousness or all that is all that there is and communication is not impossible with non-human entities because all we got to do really is to quiet in the mind in order for us to listen to sorry quiet in the mind in order for us to listen to the silence and to listen to the messages from life and by life i do not just talk in about trees and insects i'm sort of expand expanding this to stars to the clouds to the moon which still hasn't come out by the way <laughs> siding um to the sun which is the giver of light and light is life because without light there would be no life on earth and the sky right now looks like ripples of light and because the clouds look like waves and 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 the moon's light is right behind and it's all like shining through i wish i could show you the but what i wanted to give get through 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 this video is that first off we are never alone second off the inner and outer silence matching of the inner and outer silence is extremely important to help us through this journey and i don't know whether this is the the moon or the energies right now but i'm i feel extremely overwhelmed by by love right now and i feel so connected and i'm in the moment of silence because when you're in the moment of silence silence is what communicates and not the words because for me i feel like talking in the moment of silence is just breaking the communication and i know you know what i mean because right now more so than my words talking to you it's my heart and the feelings that i'm feeling right now that's going through to you and there's a huge shift coming on and if you're a meditator you can feel the energy is changing there is so much going on so much of energies people's dreams are getting more lucid people's dreams are getting more um they're pointing to directions and opening windows for them that they never knew existed and there's so much of love it's like the love wave it's like we're all riding the love wave and i'm 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 feeling so overwhelmed right now that i could cry <laughs> but i don't want to cuz i'm recording myself so no <laughs> but we're all connected everything is connected even within your meditation you can get to a, sp a space in your heart that you can talk to people send messages to them not through your phone but through your heart and they would get it you can telepathically to tap into in into their psyche and talk to them I don't know if you can hear the silence though because there's so many cars um but I'm going to 
gonna end this video. I think this has gone on for a while though. And I'm gonna end this video by hoping that you're feeling what I'm feeling. It's this intense wave of love overwhelming me. An intense wave of silence. And I love you. I love all of you. I love this journey. And I admire you for choosing the spiritual path because it's not it's not easy. It's very frightening to break through the matrix and to see things beyond what meets the eye. So I'm sending you love and um, I, the moon has still not come out though but I could probably show you um, a little bit of it speaking out. Um, I don't know if you can see this but yeah. That is the moon trying to show its face to us and say hello. So let's just say Hello Mr. Moon or Mrs. Moon. Um, no duality is here. Hello Moon. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's 11, 11 minutes on the <laughs> video. That's really cool because I just caught it right there. Synchronicity. So yeah, um, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I wish I could. Um, if I didn't have like, if I wasn't bound by syntax um, rules, and um, word meanings, all that would be coming out of my my mouth would be love, 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 love. <laughs> all my conversation would just be love, love, love. But um, yeah, I guess I'm just so uh, so uh, surrounded by this feeling of just warmth and love and absolute acceptance because nature accepts, animals accept. They don't divide. There's no separatist idea there. And it's difficult to love humans. I gotta agree. I'm not at a point where I love everyone because I don't like people who do things that I'm at constant dissonance with. But I'm still part of, I'm I'm not enlightened. I'm still trying to get over duality, but these practices still help me. So I'm with you, you're with me, we're riding we're riding this wave. It's a lot of love here, and I can't. I can't wait for the shift. Of course, it's happening, but I can't wait for the great gathering. I can feel that there's a great gathering coming. I can feel that we're all gonna meet. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop there. Love you. I hope you're feeling what I'm feeling, cause I'm overwhelmed. Um, lots of gratitude, lots of love. Um, peace. This is Sinko Shakti signing out. Lots of love. And I'm just going to show you the moon for the last bit. Okay, that's the moon. A little bit. Okay then. Bye.